In this SkyCAD tutorial, you're going to learn how to add DIN rails and wire ducts to your layouts such as these. To show you how to do this, let's start with a blank backplate. Let's start by inserting some DIN rail onto our backplate layout. Click on the Layout Tools tab and select Add Rail. Left click to specify the beginning of the rail, then click again for the end point. To specify position more precisely, we can select the rail and select Specify Position. Then enter the coordinates. To adjust the length of the rail, we can either click and drag the rail from the endpoint or explore the rail and adjust the length. You may notice this DIN rail already has a part number. This is because this is the last DIN rail part number I used and SkyCAD will continue to use this part number by default from now on. We can of course change it to a different part number. Let's change it back to a gold rail for now though. Adding more DIN rail part numbers to your catalog is covered in a separate tutorial. In another tutorial, you'll see how to clip components onto the rail. Now let's insert some wire ducts by selecting Add Wire Duct. It's done in exactly the same way as for DIN rails. As you probably guessed, we can move rails and wire ducts by clicking and dragging. As with rails, you can assign a different part number to the wire ducts. Adding more wire duct part numbers to your catalog is covered in a separate tutorial.